Nietzsche is that Nietzsche is uh, the most powerful intellectual influence on our times in ways that everyone is really unaware of. I mean, the degree to which it has penetrated daily life uh, so that it has seem, uh, come to seem American common sense, uh, you know, so much carried, for example, by, well, German sociology in the United States, you know, words like lifestyle and so on, which are really new words, or just the use of the word value. That's all Nietzsche. And uh, uh, so Nietzsche, in a way, is immediately recognizable, but it's so recognizable that it's alien. Uh, it's necessary to think through what the consequences of Nietzsche are, uh, or what the use of this Nietzschean language means for, you know, what the consequences of it for, for our life. And uh, somehow, I think for our own activity of self-consciousness, the study of Nietzsche is, uh, is central. Now, I think part of the success of Nietzsche in the United States has come from its assimilation into Marxism. Uh, you see, the, the, the great movement, I mean, Nietzsche is clearly a right winger, <laughs> if you will uh, uh, forgive that, uh, that crude uh, formulation, but I, it, it is important that one recognize that, because Nietzsche is so uh, uh, elusive that one has to stick on things that are really you know, clear <laughs> and which they will understand. We'll come back to this, but he's against democracy, he's against uh, notions of human rights. Above all, and perhaps this would be allowed for some of the best discussion in class, if, uh, if when the best one means most heated, he's absolutely against the equality of women, feminism, he regards that as absolutely essential. I mean, to the, uh, we'll, we'll try to explain why in our speaker good remarks in uh, here here that one can, uh, that one can refer to uh, Nietzsche is um, uh, the uh, uh, that he is a figure who said you know, modernity and modernity means democracy and ultimately socialism is on the one hand the decadence of man necessarily the decadence of man and uh, leads uh, to or is the, not really leads to but is the true expression of nihilism uh, the real belie belief in nothing uh, and that it is you know, the deepest and perhaps fatal misunderstanding of the nature of things and hence particularly of man uh, the uh, and it, it is one of the great achievements of the left to have incorporated Nietzsche, because uh, you know if you hear Nietzsche in talk, uh, I think you'll 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 see it's mostly on the left today. That's been since the Second World War. The whole school of criticism called deconstructionism is nothing but that, an attempt. To, you see, deconstructionism. I mean, in the simplest sense, it's a circus act. You, 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 you know, you, 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 you cut the woman up into pieces. You know, the magician. You know, and then you put her back together. You know, that's the. Uh, well, that, that's what they do to Nietzsche. They cut him up, put him back together, and he's a leftist. You know, the, after the circus, uh, uh, after the, the, the circus act. And I think the simplest way in which Nietzsche moved to the left, Nietzsche's description of modern man which is very impressive, can be easily assimilated to Marx's understanding of the bourgeois. It's much profounder, obviously. Uh, you can say, well, the, Nietzsche says, this is the last man. This is what we are heading to. Marx says, no, this is a stage. We're going to get beyond it. You know, the uh, in real, uh, you know, in, uh, after the revolution. And uh, this has allowed the left to uh, at least to make a plausible case because <laughs> this is a description of the men of our times and that's the bourgeoisie that's what we have to get rid of uh, you see, and that would you know much more easily allow for the uh, for the revolution and precisely because Nietzsche is a much profounder uh, describer uh, or, uh, spectator of man uh, than, uh, than Marx and takes much more seriously the intimate experiences uh, which somehow the economic explanation does not uh, 
uh, without the Nietzschean element, Marx, uh, how should I how should I say, without the Nietzschean element, I think that Marx would have, or Marxism would have died completely, that the appeal of contemporary Marxism is the appeal of Nietzsche, 